to another episode of Peg Luke Praise. Today I would like to bring you my edition of benediction. I was looking up what a benediction means and a benediction is really a blessing, usually found at the end of a religious service. It's meant to strengthen your faith. And I think about what in our world strengthens our faith. I think assurance strengthens our faith, knowing that something is ultimately wonderful out there that we can't see, that we can't touch, but we know exists. What gives you faith? What actually escalates your faith? This benediction does that for me. Taken from the words of John 3, for God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone believes in him may not perish, but have everlasting life. Let me repeat it. For God so loved this world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone that believes in him will have everlasting, forever life. God did not send his son into this world to condemn this world, but that the world could be saved in him. Think about that. God did not bring Jesus into the world to condemn us, to condemn that person, or to say that person isn't worthy of God's love. Think about that. Think about how freeing that is. It frees us. We don't have to judge. Let God be the judge. And I don't think God judges, I think God loves. That's what I think. Let's pray. Dear Lord, let us always remember that you brought your son into the world not to condemn this world, but to love this world, to save us from our own trials. Let us know that you love us, that you brought your son into this world to love us and that we can love you, that we are free. Remind us of this amazing and joyful idea. Lord, be with us this week as we face our own trials. In your name we pray, amen. Enjoy my benediction. and his son to condemn this world. God 
did not send his son to condemn his way. 